Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks... normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. Same place. I was lost in here. Half expected him to still be here. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up. Took the blame. They beat her. Mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet. Told me I had risked my life for nothing. Challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it... It crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. This is it's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the Vale. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. It's... The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Nitty gear. Must have walked right past it last time. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the Vale. The Founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly.
We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners, and they dragged Seraphima away to the Vale. I tried to stop them, fighting in the open. I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. Just wolves. Oil on the ground. There's your magic fire. <laughs> 